LeBron James. LeBron. Dude, I need some better lighting in here. What's up dudes and dudettes? Welcome to episode nine, where you will see me do a lot more couch flipping. Not only couch flipping, you might actually see me flip some dining tables. You just have to wait and see. Ballin like curry. So my wife and I were talking about what should we do with all these couches that we have cleaned up because as you guys can see right here in our garage, it's actually, we don't have a lot of space. And the reason why I actually, is I actually didn't tell you guys, but I actually put my car in my garage just because it's supposed to start raining and I've had like leaking problems with the roof um, and I don't really want to risk it. So I put the car in the garage. I have all the pillows and we're keeping like a two, two or three couches in our garage right now. Basically what we're actually going to do, and my wife gave me a great idea, she said why don't we take these clean couches that we have here and actually put them in the box truck. And I think that's a perfect idea because they're always going to be ready to go so if I need to ever deliver a couch or something I can just start driving and it's going to be on its way. As you guys can see this is what it, this is what it looks like in the box truck. There's a lot of space. This box is 16 feet long and so I, I don't even know how many couches I can fit in here. And honestly this this is like another storage unit for us but obviously we're only going to be putting clean ones in here uh, to go uh, and deliver. I did not really plan on getting any more couches uh, just because I, have, I already have a lot of couches I need to go through. My storage unit is full. I have a few in my garage. I, I already had a few in my um, box truck, but um, I just went on offer up to look for something. I don't know what it was. And then this couch popped up and it was perfect. I've sold this couch for $325 before and it was up for 50 bucks. So, I mean, I can't I can't go past it. And so I opened up his profile and I actually saw that he's selling two couches. And the other couch seemed like it's in pretty good condition too. He was also selling it for 50. And I asked him if, if I took both, if he would do 90 and he agreed. So that's why I am on my way to pick it up right now. I picked up my brother. Uh, he agreed to help me out. Uh, it's about a 25 minute drive. I'm gonna go pick it up and these I think are gonna be a very easy flip just because they won't require a lot of cleaning. So let's go and pick it up and make some more profit. I'm sweating. How are you feeling? All right. This right here is the first couch. Right here is the second couch. Let's go. Wow. It has been a while. I don't know exactly how long it's been, but it's been a while. For the past three months, I've been paying for my storage unit and the couches in the storage unit have just been sitting there, literally just sitting there waiting to be sold. But I've just been so busy with so many other things that I just haven't been able to touch them. And I don't know why, I just, keep buying more couches even though I have nowhere to put them. So the smartest thing to do right now is to take advantage of the weather and start cleaning as many as I can and hopefully we can sell them soon. Let's go. Alrighty, listen up. So today is a Friday and today is a very busy day. And the reason why it's so busy is because I have a lot of clients lined up to pick up couches. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go into that box truck and we're gonna organize to make sure everything is located in the correct place so that when, we, when I go to drop them off, the first couch that I'm dropping off is closer to the end and then the rest are closer to the back of the box truck. Let's go do that. So the three couches have been loaded up. I'm on my way to deliver them. And I actually just had another lady reach out to me and ask me if I can deliver a different one also here in the area. 
but I already have everything loaded up. I have everything organized, so I told her it's gonna have to be a little bit later because I'm already on my way to drop off one of the couches. And then after that, I'm gonna head over to Vancouver. So I will have to see if I'm gonna have some time after. I will show you guys right here to the right of me of what my route looks like for today. I'm dropping off, like I said, three couches, one here closer to me and then two over the bridge, but you guys will see right here. And again, that brings me back to why a box truck is essential when you're flipping furniture. So much easier to drop off a whole bunch of couches at one time. Sweet. Another one. Hey, I offered to help. They didn't want to take my help. I mean, I don't mind. It's uh, less time I have to spend, but I did, I did offer to help them. They didn't want the help, but got the money. Oh, and I did forget to mention that this is the couch that we picked up for $45. We picked it up together with the, with the cream couch. We picked them up both for 90. We sold the cream couch for 100 and we just sold this one for 260. <laughs> Just picked up my first dining set. We'll see how this goes. I will be trying out a few new things on this channel. As you guys just saw, my brother and I, we went and picked up a dining set. This is actually the first dining set that I've ever picked up. Uh, I've actually had quite a few, a few of you guys reach out to me through my DMs on Instagram and tell me to, you know, try it out. So I decided to try it out. I picked the first one up. I picked up. I picked this one up for $15. Um, I did actually think it was going to be a little bit bigger, but it's pretty small. But we'll see. This is going to be a learning experience, and who knows, maybe we'll transition also into purchasing dining sets and probably make some profit there as well. Behind me right here is the dining table that I picked up today with my brother in the morning. Um, I picked this one up for $15. We're gonna give it a try. I think this is gonna be something new for the channel just to see maybe we can start flipping uh, dining sets. This one is only three chairs. So I've thought of the perfect idea of how to stage this. So we have this clock here and we have this little area. So we're gonna put it against the wall. We're gonna put the three chairs around it, put some plates. I don't know, my, my wife is gonna do the staging stuff and We'll see how much we'll sell it for. And I'll definitely let you guys know because I'm actually pretty excited about this. I think dining, I heard that dining table sets are actually uh, pretty lucrative uh, flipping or pretty lucrative. I heard that dining table sets are actually pretty lucrative to flip. So I'll find out if that's the truth and I will definitely let you guys know because I always gotta tell you guys whenever something works because I want you guys to try it out as well. Now that we have this dining table all staged, pictures taken, time to post it and see what we can get. And what followed was a two week battle between maybe I should just get rid of it and I can probably get top dollar for it. We did end up selling it for $95, which did yield me an $80 profit, which is not bad for one hour worth of work of cleaning and picking it up because the buyer did actually come and pick it up himself. I do see why it was a little tougher for me to sell this dining table just because it was a very, and I mean very small dining table. It wasn't the traditional four chair dining set. This one only had three chairs. Although selling my first dining table was not the most fabulous experience, you gotta be kidding yourself if you think I'm gonna stop there. I've got big plans ahead of me. To say the least, this episode was crazy. We picked up 15 couches and that dining set that you guys saw. We ended up selling 11 couches and that dining set for a total profit of $3,165. My hourly rate for those sales came out to $127.01. Like many of you guys know, our good old Dogecoin took a massive beating. So here is the updated net worth. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I will see you guys in the next one. Best you, Daniel.